everyone welcome back to what's happening so marie scott he got dragged in several social media comments um this past weekend and also this week uh for one we know on this last episode of love and marriage huntsville he pretty much was trying to create conflict with kimmy and kiowa and basically kind of making kimmy feel as if she was responsible for raising monster and co-parenting with um kiowa But then he got dragged over his interview that he did with Carlos King while he sat up there and talked about how basically it was a badge of honor for Kimmy to continue to have sex with him during her treatments, even when she didn't feel like it and pretty much just faked that she enjoyed it just so that she could please him. Um, And so instead of laying low, after getting dragged for several days, he decided to go live and show us his little blue ambient lighting in his car, which that ain't nothing new. I think a lot of us have that in our vehicles now. And um, the blue lights that he has in Credit One, which looks more like an after hours lounge than an attorney's office. But take a look at this nonsense that he shared. As you should coordinate I think I'm taking coordination to a different level. Uh, But you see the interior, though. Y'all don't see these blues. Man, how can anybody ever say the blues is bad? And the blues look good to me. Yeah. Okay. Come on, credit one after hours continue. <laughs> <laughs> now, how old is Maurice? Because he acts extremely childish for his age and will also be a lawyer. But why would you show us a blue light special when last year, if y'all remember, They were accused of having sex parties at Credit One and Carlos King brought it up on the reunion and he said him and the guys would just go there to shoot the breeze, play cards, drink some beers, and there was never any freaky shenanigans going on. But if you remember on the reunion, the faces of Melody and Martel told something different. Well, after Maurice shared that video, a lot of people jumped in the comments and let him have it. Um, Someone said, match work time and spending time with your son. How about that? And yeah, I totally agree with that because spending time with your son is not just having conversations in the car when you're driving him back and forth to school. And if you notice, we don't ever see Maurice spending quality time with his son I mean if he does he never shows it we don't see them maybe going to a baseball game or out and about doing stuff together you never see that Um, only thing we've heard is that he gets him up at five in the morning and has him in boot camp but what type of quality time are you spending with your son besides just having conversations in the car driving back and forth to school Now, somebody else commented and they said, that looks like a freak room, not a workplace of an attorney. You need to be spending more time with your wife and son. Child, you can't make this stuff up. Now, someone else chimed in and said, is that Credit One? Is it a club now or is Credit One designed to look like a club or bar? And why would you even need to have an after hour spot? If Marso has black, like it just don't make sense. They could hang out at black and drink beers and whatever and have their little shenanigans. Why do we have to do it at a place of business after hours? So yeah, it don't add up. But a couple other people jumped in the comments. Someone else said, do you know you're a sorry excuse for a human being? Yes or no. And then she said, basically, he's a terrible father by putting his sexual needs before his wife's health. She said he has mediocre looks. He's short. She said, basically, it's tragic. She told him to pick one struggle. (laughs) 
I don't know why I found that to just be so hilarious. But anyway, you guys, when he made this post, he said, I match energy, I match clothes, and I match inspiration. And he went on to say, you can learn from anything and everyone. And someone commented, apparently not. She said, you're not listening to neither your wife nor child. Shaking my dang head, but want to be the man of the house. Now, someone else commented, no, Reese, if I want to use your services, I need to know I'm walking into a place of business, not an after hours club. And somebody just flat out told him that he needed to have his peen cut off by the doctors. She said, I feel for Kimmy using her like a bathroom. Shame on you. Now, the way that Maurice behaves sometimes is just really really sad um but the fact that he sat up there with carlos king and really just didn't have any empathy about what kimmy was going through everything was just a big joke when it came to her giving him sex and faking it um there was no empathy about what she was going through for him it was just all about getting to the finishing point um knowing that she's going through this her libido isn't the same you mm -hmm. obviously still want sex, but she's saying to you that sometimes she flips it over, rubs it, so you can finish. And yes. after you finish, she fakes a moan. Listen, let me tell you, she faked a <laughs> moan all the way in between too, I guess. All right, so what we're not going to do is act like she's, she's just faking at the end. <laughs> faking the whole way through. She faked when she turned over. I'm like, what is this? Hey, listen, and by the way, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I realize that I've now married an actress, right, the whole time, because it seemed just like other times. <laughs> so <laughs> that while I'm getting it more early on, I, I guess, you know, who knows? You know what? I can't speak for her. I can't. Now, I don't see how Kimmy puts up with him, but let's look back at a time where Kimmy told Maurice that she felt like their relationship could use some counseling relationship is good or bad right now i think our relationship could have some counseling so there is problem you think that there's no room for improvement i think that we're doing really good right now if i talk to somebody at a marriage <laughs> conference maybe they'll give me something that'll help do you think there's anything that i could improve on do i think yes sex every day i think every day is excessive and there should be a middle Why and maybe excessive? a third person party would be able to say Reese scott it's a little excited your brother said it was excessive and what's funny he's not in my marriage no Weird. i understand but what i'm saying is that it opens the door for conversation matter of fact we were talking about that earlier uh with tiffany you know in regards to y'all smashing stuff and lewis feeling the same way i feel like men just never get enough maurice i feel like if we had sex every single day you still would want more sex you know why i feel like that what? because it happens now we'll have sex at six o'clock and you're pulling my pants down at 10 o'clock and then get mad because i don't want to do it at 10 o'clock it's never enough what day goes by and you're like you know what i just don't want to eat today You just want me to walk in the house and take off my clothes and get you some. That's a quickie. Sometimes they could be a little more planned out, but sometimes they could be a little more robotic. I don't know. You know, just get to the end. Ugh. I am just downright disgusted. But sound off below in the comments, you guys. Let me know what you think about um, what people said to him in those comments, because literally what everyone was saying is absolutely true. And what are your thoughts about his conversation with Carlos King? And do you think Kimmy is fed up with him? I thank you guys for watching and listening. And as always, I will talk to you in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.